Good morning, modern status. Boy, it's nice out this morning. It's about 62 degrees and low humidity. Just had to watch where I was walking. Yesterday, we were about 87 and like 92% humidity. Here comes Rufus, wanting to steal some of the pig's drain. Hey, that's not yours. And then we ended up getting like an inch and a quarter of rain yesterday. It was crazy. You know, the pigs are looking at you right now, Rufus, saying, if I could get out there, I'd eat you because you're eating my grain. That's not cool. Not cool. I think the pigs are enjoying all the mud the rain made yesterday. The goats are still sleeping. I think I normally wake them up. And I'm out here feeding the pigs and the chickens. Oh, I heard the first blatting. Can you hear that? I told you, I usually wake the goats up right about now. I try to do the animal, I try to do the chicken and the pig chores first. And then me and Olivia come out after that to milk the goats. Gotta set my grain up high so Rufus don't get into it and knock it over. Got a couple of rogue chickens. We've been having a lot of people asking us when we're gonna stop butchering our chickens. I believe this Saturday will be the first time we butcher some of our meat birds. The meat birds we're raising this season are Freedom Ranger meat birds, and they take between nine and 11 weeks to grow out. And they're right. Last week I was like, boy, some of these are getting huge and they're ready to butcher. They're eight weeks old. So this weekend they'll be nine weeks old and we'll start butchering the big ones. Man, we got some noisy crows around here. So we'll stop butchering the big ones and then we'll let the smaller ones grow out for another week or two and then we'll butcher them. Holy moly, look at all that rain. Told you we got a ton of rain yesterday. Man. That tractor's bowing pretty good. Them crows are just obnoxious. Get over how much rain was on there. That's crazy. You're all wet, Pluto. Ready to go milking? Yeah. All right. They're crying for you. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Did that door scare you? <laughs> Stay 
I squirted myself in the face. Guys, I need to get better at this. I have bad well, aim. Well, if you have pink eye, that'll help. Yeah, if I had pink eye, then boom, I just took care of it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Treat. Well, Willow stepped in her milk again, so I'm not going to drink it. But we're getting better. You can come out if you want. Willow. Louise has got some treats for you. Willow, you want a treat? Oh, you dropped it. What the heck? She's like, that's not a raisin. That's it's not a raisin. better than a raisin. Blossom likes the alfalfa pellets. Mm -hmm. She barely even touched my hand that time. She did. She gentle. Yeah, yeah, and she just like picks it around here. Like she like, it's almost like she just like sucks it up. She gets the rest. She does. You know who likes it when she steps in her milk? Yeah, the pigs, they get that. You see that? I got milk on my glasses. Yeah, right there, milk. I don't have to worry about pink eye, I guess. Check and make sure they got enough hay for the day out here. Yeah, you. Hey, I'm supposed to be checking on the hay. Not have a new standing in it. You gonna get in there too, Buttercup? <laughs> These slats are six inches apart from each other. That tells you how thin the goats are. Oh, you're coming to see the goats. Here comes Figaro. It's a family affair. You could hear him calling you? No. Oh. What are you doing? What are you Got some good milk. It sure is. Kind of disappointed I had to give it to you. I have no idea. So yesterday we got all that rain like I was talking about. And why would we get this big washout right there? It's not, the roof doesn't come off like that. That's just crazy in a random spot to get washed out. We had a lot of people in our last video saying, Try milking into a wide mouth pint mason jar. That's an awesome idea. So let's go give it a try. I got chaff hay for the goats and I haven't tried feeding it to them yet. So I'm gonna give it to the girls while I'm milking this afternoon. So chaff hay is chopped up fermented alfalfa. It smells a little sweet. What do you think, Pluto? You want some? It's kind of sad that we have to worry that our grass isn't genetically modified. I mean, alfalfa is just a form of grass. It's crazy. Whoa. I got the gate open for the pigs, and they still really haven't ventured out very far. Come on, let's go. You can do it. Oh my goodness, what's the matter? Oh my goodness. Now I know why they call them kids. They cry just like them. What? What? Can you smell that chaff hay? Oh 
Oh, they seem to like that. Willow's ready. Let's see how much time the chaff hay and the sweet feed buys me. She'll only let me do so much, and then she's had enough. I think the kids kind of stress her out. She's, this is her first time, her first freshening, so she's not used to being milk. And it's the first time being away from all of her other herd. So she gets kind of freaked out, and I'm okay with letting her stop, because we're still letting the kids nurse off of her. Yeah, you good, Mama? Go ahead. Well, Lynx is out a little bit farther. Uh, she's like, nope, I'm out of here. What do you want, Rufus? I would call milking into the mason jar a success. We didn't get a huge amount, but a face all red. I don't know, we didn't get a huge amount but we got some and her foot didn't end up in it. So we get to keep this milk. So the mason jar is a great idea. It's easy to hold. I can switch using different hands. We're gonna keep trying this method out. <laughs> 